<laughs> Making noise down here. How are you woodworkers doing this week? I don't think I've got the camera quite lined up. I'm just trying to move it like this. That might be closer to it. Anyway, I'll start over. How are you woodworkers doing today? I've been thinking about something. My wife came up with the idea actually from listening to all the Christmas in July sales and whatnot that are going on around town and she says why don't you have a Christmas in July uh, video on YouTube and you can make some things that are unique for Christmas time. I thought well that isn't a bad idea. Let's give it a whirl and see what we can come up with. So for the next few couple of three weeks will be into August, you know, and so uh, it'll have to be Christmas in August after a while. But for this week, we'll call it Christmas in July. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a little puzzle. Uh, marble type puzzle. There are two marbles that are trapped inside of this box. And we have a piece of plexiglass over the top. There's a divider in the middle, and the object of these, of this game, well, I don't want to give my secret away, uh, but I will tell you that a friend of mine gave me this probably 20 years ago, and I've had it all of that time, and have scratched my head and thought about, well, would that make a good video or a good project? Finally, it came to me today that this is what I'm going to do after all of these years. So, I'm going to give you a shot of what it looks like inside the box, and then you're going to have to wait till the end of the video to find out how this works. Unless, of course, you've already had one of these to play with when you were a kid or whatever, and you know the secret. So, I'll show you what it looks like, and then we'll get into how to create this. Oh, by the way, this box is going to be cut out almost completely on the bandsaw. There are other ways to do it. It could be done on a table saw. But in the interest of doing something on the bandsaw, uh, I know a bandsaw is kind of not a very popular piece of equipment for some reason. But anyway, uh, let's get going. I'll show you what this looks like inside the box. And I think I've said that a couple of times before. But we'll get busy and start making one. Okay, we've got the, the marble box, the two marbles trapped inside of the box, sitting here in front of you. And if you notice, we've got the divider here in the middle. Just a piece of, looks like, 3 8 plywood. Then we've got a marble on this side of the, and a marble on the other side. And the bottom of this box is a semicircle. And then we have the two sides and, of course, the two ends. And then there's a hole right there, another hole here, and I'll show you how this goes together, and then I'll tell you the, the trick to get these marbles, so that there's a marble here goes into that hole, and this other marble goes into this other hole. It's simple, but you can entertain your friends and your kids and your grandkids with one of these things and keep them in the dark for several hours before you show them how to how to make this happen. Okay, let's get going and start making one. Well, the first thing I did was to get a real nice blank piece of uh, looks like southern pine probably, straight grain, no no knots in it or anything. This came out of a pallet that I've salvaged. Uh, perfect wood for our project. 
Now we want it to be seven and three quarters inches long. Uh, the width of this is, after I sanded it down, is just about one and nine sixteenths. I'm sorry, seven sixteenths wide by one and fifteen sixteenths tall. So what I want to do now is cut approximately an eighth of an inch off of each side. By doing this, then we can cut out our profile in the middle of the, the piece and then glue the two sides back together because that way they will be matching grain and it will look pretty much like it uh, is all one piece of wood. So let's go ahead and as you see I've got my fence set up and what I did was figured an eighth of an inch from the fence to the back side of the blade. That, that includes the width of the blade. So let's go ahead and cut two pieces off of the side and then that will give us a little bit over uh, three quarters of an inch left that we need to and we need to take it down to just a little bit over three quarters. Okay, we'll go ahead and turn it around, take a piece off to the other side. One thing I should have done was to mark one end here so that we can have an idea of which side to put it back on. So I'm just going to make an X here and just a straight line on the other side like that. You see how that is? That way I'll know how to orient it when I get ready to glue. Alright, looking at our box I've determined that we have a radius of four and one eighth inch. So we'll I've set my compass to four and an eighth and we'll draw a semicircle here on our piece of paper. Now we can take our our piece of of cutout that we made for for the center portion of our of our box and we can lay it on there to where we have the six and three quarters inches so then we will figure out where six and three quarters inches are and then we will center it on our block of wood and the next thing we'll do is take this piece of uh, that we've drawn the semicircle on and we'll lay it on here and we'll draw our semicircle here so that we know what the cutout is. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut on the inside of the line here just so that uh, I have a little bit of room here to, to uh, sand it out.
Okay, now I've drilled my 5 8 inch hole in each end. Now there's something you have to bear in mind. You need to have these uh, holes drilled at about a 4 degree angle so that they're facing up towards the, the center of your, of your cutout. And the way I got that to work out on the drill press was I had a piece of wood and marked four inch or four degree mark on the side of it and lined it up with one side of the and then to get them exactly the same then I flipped it end for end like this and lined it up with the the four degree mark again and then drilled the other side and by doing that you get equal amount of, of degrees of, of uh, angle on your drilled hole that's pretty important to make this work alright now I guess about the next thing to do is make a little plug to go on the end of this you can take cut off a little piece of dowel or anything like that if you want to uh, or you can take a piece of the original wood and and uh, make a little plug for it so it's the same color of wood but I don't think it's that important I think a dowel would work just fine so we'll do that next and then all that's left at that point is to glue the sides on here we go we're putting them back on <clears throat> and then once the glue is dry well we're pretty well finished with this project put the two sides on put the center piece in there about equal distance from one side to the other and then the next thing to we want to do is to finish it with some uh, Danish oil or something like that whatever you're choosing is and then we'll uh, the last thing of course is to put the marbles in and put a piece of plexiglass over top so you can see what's going on inside of the of the box so I'll set this aside we'll glue this in a little bit and it'll be basically completed uh, main thing now is to reveal <laughs> now I got to reveal the the trick to get these marbles the object is to get one in that hole without dislodging this one try to get the marble in the other hole it's not as easy as it looks unless you know the trick Okay, there's a little trick, it's very simple. You just spin this, give it a quick flick, and voila, your marbles are in the holes at each end of the of the box. Simple as that. Okay, that's going to be it for this week. Uh, I'll post uh, some more uh, dimensions and whatnot down below in the comments and so you can if you want to build one of these while you have uh, the exact measurements that I used you can do it differently than I did uh, the principle is pretty basic either way in this case we just have two nails holding a piece of plexiglass over the top and uh, they can you know that it doesn't have to be an exact fit or anything like that uh, make it as nicely as you want to and uh, then finish it up and show your kids give it to your grandkids whatever the case may be and they will have a ball trying to figure out uh, how to make those marbles both go into the hole on opposite ends so this is it for this week have a good weekend be kind to one another